Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over my, the completed, as of right now, um, Mark 18 clone upper and the Mark 18 inspired upper, okay? And we're going to talk about the differences between those two. And before we get any further, I just want to clarify a couple things real quick, okay? Whenever I talk about clones and all this stuff, because I've been, I've been going down this big rabbit trail of the M4, the Mark 12, Mark 18, all this kind of stuff, and... I don't want people to misunderstand what I'm trying to say and misquote me or something like that. This is my understanding of it, and this is this is this is when I say these things like the words clone or inspired or whatever, this is what I mean. A clone build, this is my interpretation, like I said, and my definition of it. And so if yours differs, that's your opinion, that's your thing. This is my opinion, this is my thing, okay? So a clone build is when a firearm is has these has the core components of the correct whatever it's trying to be correct rifle correct item whatever it might be the core components of what it was originally designed and manufactured by okay that's kind of a small definition but i believe it works especially for these for these firearm clones okay an inspired build is basically the same thing as a clone except that you're not using the exact parts made by specific manufacturers and stuff okay so whenever I go to build my mark uh, when I would go to build my mark 12 I didn't go and try to find a free floated um, rifle length or whatever it was a 10 I think it's like a 10 and a half or something like that inch free floated quad rail no I went for the exact uh, Knights armament free floated rail system Okay, that's the difference between a clone and an inspired build. I could have gotten, I can't remember, I think UTG makes one, uh, I think Troy might make one, don't quote me on that. There's a couple other companies that make very similar looking free floated rails for the Mark 18, excuse me, the Mark 12, I get this confused, but the Mark 12, and they look good, but they're not the right thing. They're not the right thing, not the clone correct thing, okay? So please understand me when I say something is clone, it means that. I will vary here and there on certain things. Um, on sometimes the optic, sometimes the light, sometimes maybe lower parts or whatever, a thing here, a thing there, but the core components of the rifle are going to be the same, okay? And to keep something clone, again, this is my opinion, and from what I've understood of what other people think too, and I could be wrong, but to keep something clone, if you see documentation photos you know people that are in the theater of operation whatever you know soldiers or whatnot actually use these things and they say they use this item or they have or you see pictures of said item in use then you can use that on your clone build and it can still remain a pure clone correct item okay that is my understanding of it again a lot of caveats here so with all that being said this is my clone Mark 18 upper, okay? The lower's not complete. Um, I'm going to be running both of these on pistol lowers for right now until I get, or sometimes I'm, I have an SBR so that it might be running on that sometimes, but in general, it will be on a pistol lower. So that's why I'm just showing the uppers because they are they're what are complete right now for me. Okay, so all that being said, starting in the front, or actually let's start with what is actually right and true. So we'll start at the core components, like I just said. Right here, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Maybe you won't. Um, it, this is a Colt keyhole forged upper. A Colt uh, bolt is in here. Uh, there's no way you're going to be able to see that. But I already showed you all these on the uh, uh, when I built it and stuff like that, I believe. Um, but a, a Colt charging handle, a Colt bolt, has a Colt 10.3 inch, inch upper, or not upper, uh, barrel, a Colt one. It has the right front sight base, that's Colt. The flash hider, that's Colt. Now, that is Colt. That is not a Knight's Armament or a, uh, who else makes it? Uh, I think somebody else makes one. But I think it's a Knight's. It's what usually people have on here, and then they put, or a Surefire. This is not set up to run a suppressor right now. Someday, hopefully, I'll be able to do that. But that's what's on here right now. That might be not correct. Maybe, maybe not. Um, the rail is right. It's a Knight's Armament uh, M4 Raz or Riz. I can't remember the difference. Um, so that's the core components. That's what makes it run, what makes it function. That's how it works, okay? So those are correct. Uh, starting to anything else that's correct, the um, pistol grip, that's going to be correct. That's just a Knight's. You can see that on there. That's a Knight's pistol grip. 
the rear sight, and this is where it kind of, it's obscure. Most of the time they don't have this, this rear uh, backup sight and this optic, but I will roll in a picture of one that I found that uh, people talk about and stuff, and who knows, maybe it's fake. I don't think it's fake. It looks real to me, so I'm going to run it. But this is an ARMS. Maybe you see it. I should be able to roll in a picture. But that, that's an ARMS rear backup sight. I really like it. Um, I actually got it along with basically all the other core components, the barrel, the rail, the uh, bulk carrier group, and upper, and all that kind of stuff. That came from Shark Arms, and he threw in. There was some miscommunication about some stuff, not on his part. It was on the post office. They messed some stuff up, and he compensated for that, even though it wasn't his fault. It was awesome, and he gave me that rear backup sight. So I really like it and it actually works um, for what I want it for. So that's an ARMS backup sight, and then this is a EOTech, it doesn't have the model number on here anywhere, but this is an EOTech 553, okay? And yes, it is in black. Most of the time when you see these things, they're going to be in a flat dark earth color. This one is not. Again, refer to the, um, the picture of the one that I found, and it does not have the serial number kind of stuff down here. Um, I could get the guy at Carolina Laser Works. I do believe he engraves these things um, and maybe someday I might end up trying to hit him up and see if I can get that done uh, possibly right now I have money in other projects um, but I could do that and that would make this correct but other than that this is basically correct it's the right optic um, that is basically and besides that this guy right here this is a CQD probably it's very very lightly etched on there but it's a CQD um, sling attachment and that's basically it. Other than that, I have the Streamlight Protec Rail Mount 1, and I really like it. Um, it is not clone correct at all. I don't know if I've ever seen it used, but I already have it, and so I'm going to run it on here. Um, I could spend the money and get the actual Surefire one, which is, in my opinion, less quality, because it's a very older model. I think it's an M950 something or something like that. Um, but it's just an older model, and I'm not going to drop money on that right now. Maybe someday if I get a lot of money, and I can just drop it on it. Sure, I might. That basically wraps this guy up. Now, we're going to move over to our inspired build, which basically doesn't have much of any correctness to it. We'll basically go over just like we did before. This is an Anderson. I believe it's an Anderson. Stripped upper that I got. It's not stripped anymore. Um, but then it has a semi-automatic bolt carrier group, uh, regular charging handle. Uh, it has the 10.2-inch barrel that I cut down. Um, it has a Yankee Hill muzzle brake on the end for attaching my suppressor. Um, yeah, that's what's on there right now. If the front side base, which is a little bit lower, it's not an F mark front side base, so probably not necessarily correct. I threw this guy on here because uh, I had it laying around and I don't have another CQD uh, attached sling attachment point, so I'm going to run this guy here. Um, it does have the correct Knight's rail. Um, Let's see, it has a the MOE, the Magpul, vertical foregrip. This is not an actual Surefire. Again, if it was an actual Surefire, that would be clone correct because um, those are run on these things sometimes. But this is a uh, the, the Chinese clone of the Surefire M300 Scout. Uh, the optic is correct, okay. Um, it's, a, it's an Aimpoint Comp M2, and it works very, very well. Really like it. The rear backup sight is... Uh, just a rear backup sight. No idea who makes it. Doesn't really have a make or manufacturer on it or any forgings that I can see. So who knows who makes it, but it works. So that's the inspired build. Like the only thing on here that would be correct is this optic. Other than that, all the other parts, they fit, they look good, or look good, whatever, depending on what you think looks good. But they they match the, the profile of what they're supposed to be like, but they're not made by the right people. So that's what we got going on here. This is... Um, what am I trying to say? We're going to end up running these two guns. Um, like I said, I got some pistol lowers uh, right here. Oops, sorry. These guys right here, we're going to be running them on them as well as my SBR. And we'll just put them through their paces. Um, I don't have all the ammo in the world, so I can't put, you know, a thousand rounds through each one of them. I'd love to be able to do that. Um, but I'll try to give them both a fair shake. Excuse me. And we'll switch up the optics. Sometimes you'll see it with the aim point. Sometimes you'll see it with the or that's not the aim point. With the EOTech, sometimes you see it with the aim point. Sometimes you might see it with a magnified optic, who knows, just to, we'll, we'll, we'll shake it up a little bit and try to try to give them both a fair shake and see if they both perform equally. One works better than the other. 
we'll see. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. I'll try to keep it a little bit short. Um, so yeah, y'all stay tuned. You'll be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.